At the grocery store, shoppers are looking for relief. I used to spend like $40 a week and then it ended up becoming like $70 a week. Frankly speaking, it jeopardizes our monthly budget. But I have a hard time living and keeping up with uh, inflation. Food prices go up, no-name prices won't. Guaranteed. Now Loblaw says it's freezing prices for its no-name food products until the end of January, though they could still go on sale. Food bills are up almost 11 percent in a year, and with major grocery chains seeing profits increase, they've become a target for consumer frustration. Rising profits is not a contributor to inflation. This economist took a look at the numbers and says there's no evidence of price gouging. The price increases that we see at the grocery store are reflecting higher costs of producing those goods and services. But other experts say looking at the core operations of the grocery business, companies are still coming out on top. Margins are actually pretty high, and the return on equity of companies like Loblaws has been very, very strong. And not just grocers, but some of the companies that supply them. Take beverage giant Pepsi, which said it's faced higher costs. But it's had no problem passing those on to consumers, hiking prices on its snacks and drinks by 17% in the last year. Our brands are being stretched to higher price points, and consumers are following us. Those who track consumers say there's a reason they haven't shifted spending. During economic downturns, people are willing to buy affordable luxuries, like their favorite snacks. People want to be able to spend that little bit of extra on those, those products that they feel are a bit more treat-based. But at some point, stretched shoppers will start to push back, switching to cheaper generics, perhaps like the no-name brands at Loblaws, though for some, the gesture comes too late. I think it's a largely a symbolic measure. It will not have a dramatic impact on the overall grocery prices that Canadians pay. Nisha, could we see more of this sort of price freezing happening? Adrian, Loblaw is the first Canadian grocer to do this, and it can freeze prices on its private label brand because it controls the supply chain from start to finish. Now, I just got an email from Metro, which says it is also freezing prices on its private label brand from November to February. No word whether any other Canadian competitors are going to follow suit. But one thing is for certain, the debate and the discussion over prices and profits is far from over. And the pressure's on. You bet. All right, Nisha Patel, thank you. You're welcome.